So I have kind of a unique treasure hunt today. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll find something. But I don't know if you can see this little road that goes up over the mountain. See those two tall poles? Well, that usually indicates a gate opening to a ranch. Now I can't imagine what the, how steep that hill is. Someone bringing a cart over there? But I did look on some aerials and I feel like there might have been a small cabin. It's hard to tell because I mean those are fuzzy, fuzzy photos, but there might have been a cabin on the other side for a herder. So maybe they just went up there on horseback and then stayed for the summer. Watch the herd. So anyways, if that doesn't work out, then we got other spots we got all day. So let's check it out. Wow, that was a climb. And that was not wide enough for a truck. That would have had to been a cart. Anyways, there's one of the old posts. And then look at this nice little grazing valley. That's why I'm interested in this, because, you know, this was mostly ranches. So I'm going to follow the road down, see if it leads me to a cabin site. Well, it led me to this really pretty spot by the river, and there's this looks like a few hitching posts right there. I'm not seeing right offhand any permanent structure or foundation, so I'm gonna give this a little bit. I did find a shotgun shell, and there's some iron, but I'm gonna see if I can find anything worth hunting, and if not, I'm gonna bail out of here and try to find a new spot. Well, I definitely haven't found a lot, but. <laughs> Look at that. Some sort of buckle. And it's still on the leather. That's pretty cool. Dang. What does that say? It says sergeants. Yeah, it looks like we got an old corral in here. I've been working it. Man, this is such a beautiful little hidden spot. I haven't found a home site though. So, eh, maybe they just camp down here and occasionally put, uh, you know, put their livestock in the corral. I'm gonna keep swinging though. Wow. Now that's a big old bolt. <laughs> Wonder where that went to. Well, look at that. I think I. I found an old musket ball. Cool. Well, there's an old horseshoe right on top. It was just sitting right there. Awesome. All right, I had to switch to a new spot. <laughs> I just wasn't doing it down there. And it looks like I got myself a, a weedy. I've actually been to this spot before. I just don't have a lot of time left, so I decided, yeah, I'll grab my mini coil and see what I can get. So far, just bullets until this. And let me see if I can get a date just so we can see kind of where we're at. I think it says 1929. Okay, right next to it, I got another weedy. Dang, where's the silver, guys? And I think that one says 1928. Well, I got a little watch face. I don't know if you can see the numbers, but it's kind of cool. I'm thinking. I might have silver here. Still alive, big. Glass, nice soft grand. Yeah. Sounds more like a wheat penny now. Definitely a coin. See, we got another weedy. Where's the silver? Nothing great, but I had a, <laughs> this big rock. I thought I had a coin, but it's a, it's a little two hole button. Big old axe head. All right, so we're doing another home site. Look at that, Jeff's with me today. We haven't been here very long, but he just got himself a cool old sheep tag. Boom. 
Number 305, baby. Cool. Well, there's my first cool relic. I got half of a car. Or the front of a car. wonder if the rest of it's here somewhere. That's pretty cool. So, we got a couple Wheaties in that other spot. But it just seemed too new, so we moved on. Here's an old brass buckle. Man, I just got some sort of cool old sign. Love that. Let me clean it up a little bit and see if we can read it. It says the Continental Oil Company, 554 and a half net gallons, 1960, Montana. Another nice little buckle. Look at that, I got a coin. Ah, uh, it's a weedy again. Dang, we're just having a hard time getting into the Indian head pennies today. Dang it. So it says 1924S, I believe. Man, I gotta get some glasses. <laughs> All right, Dinwiddie and I were doing another home site. Been here a little bit. He's got a harmonica read. I don't have much. But I think I got something cool in this hole right here. Here we go. Ooh, what is that? I should clean that up. So that's a tag, and it says the Singer Manufacturing Core. So that's going to be a real old sewing machine tag, I guess. And if you can see on the front, that's like a needle with threads going through. That's real neat. I've never seen one like that. Awesome. Well, that's an interesting little piece. It looks like it has a little fancy on it. I don't know if that was part of a buckle or what that is. Interesting, though. That is a fancy drawer pull. Wow. Dang. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, looks like I got me a little buckle. Hey, that's kind of neat. It'll be cool if we can pull a token or something, help us, or a coin, help us date the site. But I do love getting a little relic like that. That sure is awesome. <laughs> There's a spoon. Kind of plain. Yeah, I'm feeling like there wasn't a lot of money at this site, that's for sure. Man, that's one plain spoon. They usually have a little fancy on them. Well, dang it. I got a coin. But I think I see already it's going to be a weedy. Dang, I've just been on a drought lately. <clears throat> Seems like I just keep coming up with weedies. And I don't know if I can get a date. Well, that was one hard-fought coin, but it's a 1944. So, not terribly old. Certainly not as old as we're hoping. Well, that's kind of a neat little piece. But, unfortunately, it's almost dark, so... I'm going to have to wrap this one up, and I'll probably see you at another site. Alright, so we're at a new spot. Oh, what is that? Is that just a big washer? Or is that a coin turned into a washer? Let me clean that up. Yeah, we're at a new spot, real close to where we were yesterday. Just a block away, neighbor. Huh. Let me clean that up. Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna have to call this a copper washer. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know. Could be a button. Could be a coin. Yeah, so not a lot left to this place. Looks like somebody pushed it all out of the way with a dozer or something. So this has definitely been altered here, but there's stuff. We'll find it. Holy cow. U.S. Indian Service. Oh, I got one of those one Eagle. time. Yeah, I know. I was with you. 
I've wanted one forever. That one looks different than mine, I think, a little. I don't know. Cool, man. Yeah, it's got some kind of markings on the back, but... What an awesome button. Cleaned up. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well, I got a coin right here. What do you do? So, I don't think so. Let's see. What do we got? Looks like a weedy. What, what year was the weedy you got? 1950. Well, I'll have to clean it up. Hold on. So, this is a 1940S, I think, and Dinwiddie's was in the 50s. The button he just got, that was for a federal police force that only, I believe, uh, you know, looked after Indian crimes. Well, that looks like an old motorcycle tag or something. Now, on the other side of the property, I just got another one. You know what? I'm not doing that great metal detecting, but there's kind of some junky stuff back here. And I thought, well, I'll go look and see if I can find a bottle. Just previously, I just dug one of these mentholatum jars, but the jar is a little messed up, but the lid was awesome. So, <laughs> I can combine those two and make one good one. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, no, that might be too bright. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, Dinwiddie got this fancy little pin. I'll have to do some research and tell you what that sucker is. I'll get a better shot of it at home. Yeah, I'll give you another pick. It's, it's kind of dark. <laughs> well, <laughs> darkness comes every night, I guess. A little bit of pink in the sky tonight anyways it's probably my last night detecting in montana for a while i'm headed to florida to do some beach hunting for at least a month anyways hope you enjoyed these little hunts these little after work hunts see you next time but on the beach you guys want to see how terrible my dog is at catching <laughs> Miss Allen. Oh, got one. Crazy. Got two. This kid's hungrier than I thought. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm.